Moringa oleifer, Wikipedia article audio. Moringa oleifer is the most widely cultivated species of the genus Moringa, which is the only genus in the family Moringaceae. English common names include Moringa, drumstick tree, horseradish tree, ben oil tree, or benzoil tree. It is a fast growing, drought resistant tree native to the southern foothills of the Himalayas in northwestern India, and widely cultivated in tropical and subtropical areas where its young seed pods and leaves are used as vegetables. It can also be used for water purification and hand washing, and is sometimes used in herbal medicine. Etymology Description Cultivation Production area Cultivation practice Soil preparations Propagation Planting Breeding Yield and harvest Fruits Leaves Oil Pests and diseases Nutrients Leaves too. Drumsticks. Seeds. Seed oil. Roots. Malnutrition relief. Culinary uses. Traditional medicine and research. Potential adverse effects. Other uses. Water purification. Moringa derives from a Tamil word, murungae, meaning twisted pod, alluding to young fruit. Gallery M. oleifer is a fast-growing, deciduous tree that can reach a height of 10-12 m and trunk diameter of 45 cm. The bark has a whitish-gray color and is surrounded by thick cork. Young shoots have purplish or greenish-white. Hairy bark. The tree has an open crown of drooping, fragile branches and the leaves build up a feathery foliage of trypanate leaves. The flowers are fragrant and asexual, surrounded by five unequal, thinly veined, yellowish white petals. The flowers are about 1.0 to 1.5 cm long and 2.0 cm broad. They grow on slender, hairy stalks in spreading or drooping flower clusters which have a length of 10-25 cm. Flowering begins within the first six months after planting. In seasonally cool regions, flowering only occurs once a year between April and June. In more constant seasonal temperatures and with constant rainfall, flowering can happen twice or even all year round. The fruit is a hanging, three-sided brown capsule of 20-45 cm size which holds dark brown, globular seeds with a diameter around 1 cm. The seeds have three whitish papery wings and are dispersed by wind and water. In cultivation, it is often cut back annually to 1-2 m and allowed to regrow so the pods and leaves remain within arm's reach. The moringa tree is grown mainly in semi-arid, tropical, and subtropical areas, corresponding in the United States to USDA hardiness zones 9 and 10. It tolerates a wide range of soil conditions, but prefers a neutral to slightly acidic, well-drained sandy, or loamy soil. In waterlogged soil, the roots have a tendency to rot. Moringa is a sun and heat loving plant, thus does not tolerate freezing or frost. Moringa is particularly suitable for dry regions, as it can be grown using rainwater without expensive irrigation techniques. Irrigation needed for leaf production if rainfall 800 mm. India is the largest producer of moringa with an annual production of 1.1 to 1.3 million tons of fruits from an area of 380 square kilometers. 
Among Indian states, Andhra Pradesh leads in both area and production followed by Karnataka and Tamil Nadu. Moringa is grown in home gardens in West Bengal and Odisha and as living fences in southern India and Thailand, where it is commonly sold in local markets. In the Philippines and Indonesia, it is commonly grown for its leaves which are used as food. Moringa is also actively cultivated by the World Vegetable Center in Taiwan, a center for vegetable research. In Haiti, it is grown as windbreaks and to help reduce soil erosion. More generally, Moringa grows in the wild or is cultivated in Central America and the Caribbean, northern countries of South America, Africa, Southeast Asia, and various countries of Oceania. As of 2010, cultivation in Hawaii, for commercial distribution in the United States, is in its early stages. In tropical cultivation, soil erosion is a major problem. Therefore, the soil treatment has to be as shallow as possible. Plowing is required only for high planting densities. In low planting densities, it is better to dig pits and refill them with the soil. This ensures good root system penetration without causing too much land erosion. The pits must be 30 to 50 centimeters deep, and 20 to 40 centimeters wide. Moringa can be propagated from seed or cuttings. Direct seeding is possible because the germination rate of M. oleifer is high. Moringa seeds can be germinated year-round in well-draining soil. Cuttings of 1 m length and at least 4 cm diameter can be used for vegetative propagation. For intensive leaf production, the spacing of plants should be 15 x 15 cm or 20 x 10 cm, with conveniently spaced alleys to facilitate plantation management and harvests. Weeding and disease prevention are difficult because of the high density. In a semi-intensive production, the plants are spaced 50 cm to 1 m apart. This gives good results with less maintenance. Moringa trees can also be cultivated in alleys, as natural fences and associated with other crops. The distance between Moringa rows in an agroforestry cultivation is usually between 2 and 4 meters. In India, from where Moringa most likely originated, the diversity of wild types is large. This gives a good basis for breeding programs. In countries where Moringa has been introduced, the diversity is usually much smaller among the cultivar types. Locally well-adapted wild types, though, can be found in most regions. Because Moringa is cultivated and used in different ways, there are different breeding aims. The breeding aims for an annual or a perennial plant are obviously different. The yield stability of fruits is an important breeding aim for the commercial cultivation in India, where Moringa is cultivated as an annual. On less favorable locations, perennial cultivation has big advantages. Erosion is much smaller with perennial cultivation. In Pakistan, varieties have been tested for their nutritional composition of the leaves on different locations. The different breeding aims result in a different selection. India selects for a higher number of pods and dwarf or semi-dwarf varieties. Breeders in Tanzania, though, are selecting for higher oil content. M. oleifer can be cultivated for its leaves, pods, and slash or its kernels for oil extraction and water purification. The yields vary widely, depending on season, variety, fertilization, and irrigation regimen. Moringa yields best under warm, dry conditions with some supplemental fertilizer and irrigation. Harvest is done manually with knives, sickles, and stabs with hooks attached. Pollarding, 
coppicing and lopping or pruning are recommended to promote branching, increase production and facilitate harvesting. When the plant is grown from cuttings, the first harvest can take place 6-8 months after planting. Often, the fruits are not produced in the first year, and the yield is generally low during the first few years. By year 2, it produces around 300 pods, by year 3 around 400-500. A good tree can yield 1,000 or more pods. In India, a hectare can produce 31 tons of pods per year. Under North Indian conditions, the fruits ripen during the summer. Sometimes, particularly in South India, flowers and fruit appear twice a year, so two harvests occur, in July to September and March to April. Average yields of 6 tons slash ha slash year in fresh matter can be achieved. The harvest differs strongly between the rainy and dry seasons, with 1,120 kg slash ha per harvest and 690 kg slash ha per harvest, respectively. The leaves and stems can be harvested from the young plants 60 days after seeding and then another 7 times in the year. At every harvest, the plants are cut back to within 60 cm of the ground. In some production systems, the leaves are harvested every two weeks. The cultivation of M. oleifer can also be done intensively with irrigation and fertilization with suitable varieties. Trials in Nicaragua with 1 million plants per hectare and 9 cuttings slash year over 4 years gave an average fresh matter production of 580 metric tons slash ha slash year, equivalent to about 174 metric tons of fresh leaves. One estimate for yield of oil from kernels is 250 L slash ha. The oil can be used as a food supplement as a base for cosmetics, and for hair and the skin. The Moringa tree is not affected by any serious diseases in its native or introduced ranges. In India, several insect pests are seen, including various caterpillars such as the bark-eating caterpillar, the hairy caterpillar or the green-leaf caterpillar. The budworm's noxuity are known to cause serious defoliation. Damaging agents can also be aphids, stem borers, and fruit flies. In some regions, termites can also cause minor damage. If termites are numerous in soils, insects' management costs are not bearable. The Moringa tree is a host to Levalula torica, a powdery mildew which causes damage in papaya crops in South India. Cultivation management should therefore be checked. Many parts of Moringa are edible, with regional uses varying widely. Nutritional content of 100 grams of fresh M. oleifer leaves is shown in the table, while other studies of nutrient values are available. The leaves are the most nutritious part of the plant, being a significant source of B vitamins, vitamin C. Provitamin A is beta-carotene, vitamin K, manganese, and protein, among other essential nutrients. When compared with common foods particularly high in certain nutrients per 100 grams fresh weight, cooked moringa leaves are considerable sources of these same nutrients. Some of the calcium in moringa leaves is bound as crystals of calcium oxalate though at levels 125th to 145th of that found in spinach, which is a negligible amount. The leaves are cooked and used like spinach and are commonly dried and crushed into a powder used in soups and sauces. Immature seed pods, called drumsticks, leaves, mature seeds oil pressed from seeds, flowers. The immature seed pods, called drumsticks, are commonly consumed in South Asia. They are prepared by parboiling, and cooked in a curry until soft. 
the seed pods slash fruits, even when cooked by boiling, remain particularly high in vitamin C and are also a good source of dietary fiber, potassium, magnesium, and manganese. The seeds, sometimes removed from more mature pods and eaten like peas or roasted like nuts, contain high levels of vitamin C and moderate amounts of B vitamins and dietary minerals. Mature seeds yield 38-40% edible oil called ben oil from its high concentration of behenic acid. The refined oil is clear and odorless, and resists rancidity. The seed cake remaining after oil extraction may be used as a fertilizer or as a flocculant to purify water. Moringa seed oil also has potential for use as a biofuel. The roots are shredded and used as a condiment with sharp flavor qualities deriving from significant content of polyphenols. Moringa trees have been used to combat malnutrition, especially among infants and nursing mothers. Since Moringa thrives in arid and semi-arid environments, it may provide a versatile, nutritious food source throughout the year. Moringa leaves have been proposed as an iron-rich food source to combat iron deficiency. However, further study is needed to test practical applications of using this dietary source and its iron bioavailability. Moringa has numerous applications in cooking throughout its regional distribution. The fruits or seed pods, known as drumsticks, are a culinary vegetable commonly used in soups and curries. The leaves are also commonly eaten with many culinary uses, and the flowers are featured in some recipes as well. The long drumsticks are often cut into shorter lengths and stewed in curries and soups. Because the outer skin is tough and fibrous, drumsticks are often chewed to extract the juices and nutrients with the remaining fibrous material discarded. Others describe a slightly different method of sucking out the flesh and tender seeds and discarding the tube of skin. Traditional dishes which commonly include drumsticks prepared this way include South Indian sambar where it is stewed with lentils, and the Thai dish kaeng sam which is a sour curry with drumsticks and fish. The leaves can be used in many ways perhaps most commonly added to clear broth-based soups, such as the Filipino dishes tinola and yutin. Tender moringa leaves, finely chopped, are used as garnish for vegetable dishes and salads, such as the Kerala dish thorin. It is also used in place of or along with coriander. In some regions of India, the flowers are mixed with gram flour and spices, then deep fried into pakaras to be served as snacks or added to curries. Duntalunchinye, Burmese Drumstick Sour Soup Traditional Thai Kaeng Sam with Drumstick Pods and Fresh PLA Thursday Bread in Benin with Moringa Powder as one of the ingredients The bark, sap, roots, leaves Seeds and flowers are used in traditional medicine. Research has examined how it might affect blood lipid profiles, although it is not effective at diagnosing, treating, or preventing any human diseases. Extracts from leaves contain low contents of polyphenols which are under basic research for their potential properties. Despite considerable preliminary research on the biological properties of Moringa components, there are few high-quality studies on humans to justify its use to treat human diseases. Various adverse effects may occur from consuming Moringa bark, roots, or flowers and their extracts, as these components contain chemicals that appear to be toxic when eaten. Moringa has been used safely in doses up to 6 grams daily for up to 3 weeks. In developing countries, Moringa has the potential to improve nutrition, boost food security, foster rural development, and support sustainable land care.
It may be used as forage for livestock, a micronutrient liquid, a natural anthelmintic, and possible adjuvant. Moringa oleifera leaf powder was as effective as soap for hand washing when wetted in advance to enable antiseptic and detergent properties from phytochemicals in the leaves. Moringa seed cake, obtained as a byproduct of pressing seeds to obtain oil, is used to filter water using flocculation to produce potable water for animal or human consumption. Moringa seeds contain dimeric cationic proteins which absorb and neutralize colloidal charges in turbid water, causing the colloidal particles to clump together, making the suspended particles easier to remove as sludge by either settling or filtration. Moringa seed cake removes most impurities from water. This use is of particular interest for being non-toxic and sustainable compared to other materials in Moringa growing regions where drinking water is affected by pollutants. Branch of a fully grown Moringa tree with flowers and leaves in West Bengal. Dried Moringa with pods and seeds on the ground in Hawaii.